Studio 5's Dr. Liz Hill is sort of turning the tables on us. When it comes to advice on love, Dr. Liz usually encourages couples to put down the cell phone and actually talk face to face, but not today. Liz is sharing a way to use your phone and deepen your connection at the same time. All right, so you're going high tech on us today, Lindsay. Yeah, we are having every couple I work with go into their app and look for the Gottman card deck. It's called Gottman Gottman card deck. It's free. Okay. 14 different decks. I also have them literally in my office, so you can get them in virtual reality if you want. The hard card copy, but this is a great way of patterning your relationship, of learning how to do things well. So is this a so game? So I love it. Is this a conversation starter? There are conversation starters, I would say, more than anything. Not so much a game, but there is give and take. It's a nice way to learn how to express your needs and what you like in your relationship and even figure out what you're feeling sometimes. So when date night conversation stalls or feels <laughs> a little stale, you can dial this up on your phone and spark things up. Yeah, I think it's a great thing to do. I really do. I love it. I think you'd have some fun with it. You know, everything from I, I feel anxious to what I want to do regarding sex, sex in the bedroom. Okay. So it's kind of fun. So topics run the gamut. Yep. Let's jump into a couple of different decks, yeah, different yeah, topic do. categories. Yeah. You can tell us what you like about each particular topic category. Mm -hmm. So the first one is I feel. Yeah, I feel. This is everything from A to W pretty much. You know, I feel alienated to I feel wounded. Um, we need just need to get a little bit better about expressing our feelings and our thoughts if we really want our partners to know us. And it's not just always negative negative feeling. Sometimes, you know, it's, I feel happy or I feel loving or I feel sexy, whatever it might be. But letting your partner get to know you and starting out with just I feel again is really great patterning for us to do it right. Instead of you make me angry or you make me feel blank, it's I feel. I feel you're yeah. taking ownership for it. And on the recipient end, is this a time to jump in with solutions or commitments or is this a time yeah. to just listen? It's just a time for understanding. You don't need to solve it right then. Sometimes we can be upset and we don't even know what we're feeling. So you you just swipe through the card deck. It's like, oh, that's how I feel. That's it. You can even show your partner. You know, I feel hurt. Okay. Or, or share it verbally. Next, a personal favorite. You like the yeah. open-ended question deck. Oh, I do love this one. I love this one because mainly stories, the, the answers require stories. You get to really deepen what's going on with your partner, and it changes all the time. You know, which decade would you want to redo in your life if you had a choice to? You know, what, what's missing or what can I do for you? It's just... It's, it's a way to think about things you hadn't thought before. It's like, yeah, I didn't even thought to ask that. So it's really a, good, a nice way to get to know each other better. And we're always changing. So that's why you, it's a fresh deck every time you use it. You well, know, fresh some answers. of those questions, even those sample questions we just yeah. showed on the screen, dig a little deep. What do you want your legacy to be? And, you know, the stage Mark one? and I are in, we're talking about, do we need to go to Costco and get diapers, right? <laughs> or we're talking about the kids so often that yeah. I appreciate the prompt to dig a little deeper yes, and carve out right. those more meaningful conversations. It's a prompt indeed. That's a good description. I like that. Uh, another card deck, expressing your needs. Yeah, isn't that something? We need a safe way to express our needs to our partners. Sometimes I didn't even know that I could ask for certain things. You know, until I see it in the deck, it's like, I could ask for quiet time in the morning, and that's okay. I'm not going to hurt his feelings. Or I'd like your help into, into getting in better shape, or I'd like your help in eating better. Um, I need to know that you're proud of me. I need to know more often um, what you like about me. So it's a great way for couples to say, God, I didn't know I had that need. I didn't know that you did either. So you get to know each other better. And it creates this fondness and admiration. I'm all about couples this year in, in my practice of really deepening a friendship and a bond. It's all about the friendship. That's the baseline of that sound relationship house that John Gottman has built his research on. And do you think an activity like this in line with that goal can help build that friendship, but also the trust one to another in, in that safe, comfortable environment? Because I mean, the card prompted yeah, it, right? Yeah, it's, it's just, it's kind of fun to do. You know, sometimes we get stuck, we don't know what to talk about. We're always told that on your date nights, don't talk about kids, right? It's like, so what do we talk about? This is a nice way to look at that. I love this next deck too. Sometimes we get a little stuck in date night. Like what, what are the, some of the things we can do that are different that would spice things up a little bit? Maybe we want to take a painting class together, you know? Mm -hmm. um, we want to write poetry for each other, or we want to do a particular kind of date. So scroll through that, see what's appealing to you, find one that you both agree on, or take turns. I want to do this one on our next date, and you show me what you want to do on our next date. Another category reminds couples to appreciate each other, yes. which is a simple thing you say can yield big relationship results. It does. You know, we're so 
good at scanning the environment and finding out what's wrong, Brooke, that it's really, really helpful to find out what's right, what's right with your partner and what do you want to thank him or her for? We have this negative sentiment override sometimes where I scan the environment and I find all the negatives. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Instead of positive sentiment override where I find all the things that are good and right. I just forget to share them until right. I get a little prompt on my card deck to do so. All right, and if you want to get daring, yeah, daring, you oh, say the, so fun. the salsa questions can <laughs> spice things up. I like the Isn't name that of that, salsa and mild. That's mild. clever. Well, there's <laughs> mild and there's medium and there's hot. Oh, okay. You know, mild could be something about romance and uh, medium and hot could be something a little spicier in the bedroom. It's just so fun to find things that you both like. There's no judgment, there's no questioning. Again, you just find things that you could both agree on and then find ways to implement it into your romance or your sex life. This is fun. What a great yeah. resource, Liz. I want thank you every so much. viewer to download it. I really, I really feel strongly about it. We'll try it out free. Yeah, it's a free. free app, so you can do why it when not? you're riding in the car or again on date night or quiet night at home. It's like, let me, let me just get out my phone and yeah. see what prompts us. We're going to put a link to the Gottman Card oh, Deck app on our That's website so nice. for you. So look at <laughs> studio5.ksl.com. And you're great. so kind to clue us into this. Yeah, so thank you my as pleasure. always. Thank you.